Aloha and welcome to Mystery Island. We are on Mystery Island for VBS this week and we'll have lessons each day and we're talking about God and the attributes of God. Attributes means ways we describe God or what God is because it's not actually how we describe God. It's, it's what God really is and uh, that leads into today that God is one. God is one. God is not changing. God is great. Uh, but God is one. God doesn't change. We can't make up a God and make God to, to fill our needs and to suit our needs. Our uh, pal, our animal pal for today is Camo, the chameleon. And chameleons are really, really cool. Chameleons can do awesome things. They can move their eyes all around. Chameleons can shoot out their tongue and they have this like suction cup on the end of their tongue and they can grab their prey and suck it back in. And chameleons have really cool, their, their toes, they have, they have five toes, like we have five fingers, but they have three on one side and two on the other to help them grip branches. So chameleons are awesome animals and God made something really beautiful when he made the chameleon. Because what is super duper cool about a chameleon? I bet you know, chameleons can change their colors. They can blend in with their environment. They can change. And that is super cool. The idea of an animal changing just to blend in with its environment is amazing. I mean, we can't do that. And God does not do that. God doesn't change. God is steady. God stays true to what God is. Our story is um, from Acts, and it's about Paul. When he's traveling through Athens and Paul it's it's a little humorous there's a little humor um, to the story the fact that like he's you know he's supposed to be there to rest and he's kind of had a really had a hard time uh, Paul has been in danger Paul and, and he's been running and he's tired and he's waiting for the other guys to come so he's just gonna rest in Athens but while he's there he looks around and he sees the different gods that these people are worshiping. And he starts to get really angry when he's seeing they're just making stuff up. Like they're just finding gods to suit their needs and not seeing that God is God. And God doesn't change to suit our needs. We don't, we can't make up a God and we can't make God to suit us. And Paul tells them this, and they have a discussion. Some people make fun of him. Some people um, have disdain and scoff at him and think he's not as intellectual as the other people in Athens. And uh, some people say, we would like to hear some more about this God that you're talking about. And so it's it's interesting to see how, the, you know, Paul sees this in Athens, and he knows that God can't change and that we can't make up God to be who we want God to be. Hi. 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 My name's Maggie. Are you living here on Mysterious Island? Do you live here? Would you like to join us? I sure would. My name's Sunny. Do you love living here? What are some of the things that you like to do on Mysterious Island, on Mystery Island here, Sunny? I like to hang ten. Hang ten? What does hang ten mean? Ever been surfing before? No. No, I haven't. Well, surfers like to do this thing with their toes, and they hold on to the edge of their surfboard, and they hang their ten toes off the edge of the surfboard. That's hanging ten. It's really cool. That would be amazing. But we were just talking about a different number than ten. Oh, yeah? What's that? We were talking about the number one. One. Numero uno. The number one. One and only. The big o one. O N. E. Yeah, I think we get the idea. Thanks, Sonny. <laughs> I don't think I could hang one. Can you imagine having just one toe hanging over a surfboard? <laughs> or maybe my pinky toe. Uh, now that would be a trick. Sonny, I wasn't talking about toes. Well, what 
were you talking about? We were talking about God. What does God have to do with the number one? Well, we were just talking about how there's only one God, and and we can't change God to suit us. And there's not lots of gods. There's just there's just the one. Well, I have a friend who believes in lots and lots and lots of gods. Yes, throughout time, people have believed in lots and lots of gods. But for our purposes, we're saying that we can't change God. We're Christians, and we have one God. And, and he doesn't change to suit us or our needs to, to fill in for, for us conveniently. Well, are the other ones real gods? Like, what is God really like? Can he curl his tongue into a tube shape? My friend Herbert can do that. I think it's really cool, but I can't, I'm not very good at it. Well, it is fun to try to curl your tongue into a tube shape. I can do it, see? But there's a big difference between God and us. There are qualities that God has that people don't have. Like what? Well, he's perfect. He can never make a mistake. Ever. I mean, we sure make mistakes all the time, but God never does. He's perfect? Yeah, I mean, forever perfect. Well, that would come in handy when I was doing my math. My homework is so hard because I can't remember my addition facts. Well, you know what? Math wouldn't even be hard for God because God invented math. He knows everything about math, and he knows everything about everything else. And you know what? He can never tell a lie. You mean he always tells the truth? Yes, always. When my friend Johnny came over, he told me I was going to have his surfboard to keep, but he didn't give it to me. Man, I really liked that surfboard. Sonny, Sometimes people let you down, but you can always count on God, always. He'll tell the truth, and God never changes. You know, Camo the chameleon, did you see him? He changes a lot. He changes his colors, doesn't he? Yeah, I like to watch the chameleons that live on the island. They're green one minute, and they change to blue or orange or, or, or a mixture the next. Well, God is invisible, so I don't mean he changes, he can't change the way he looks or the way we see him. What, what I'm talking about is he always stays the same. He's, he's forever kind. He's forever good. He's forever loving. He'll never change. He loves you so much. And he made everything and everyone. He's the creator, and he cares about you. He sounds great. God is great. He's amazing. He's wonderful. He's better than you can even imagine. He's more important than anybody else you'll ever know. And by far. And we're going to get to talk more and more about him this week. And I'm so excited to share with you about him. Thanks for sharing about God, about the great O one. Now, I'm going to go hang ten. You do that, Sonny, and we'll see you tomorrow. It was nice meeting you. You want to say goodbye? Goodbye. <laughs> so, we'll get to see Sonny later this week, and we'll talk more about God and the way God is and our relationship with God. In this moment, we can stop and pray. And we'll say, thank you, God, so much for loving us no matter what we say, what we think, or what we do. Thank you, God, for always being a well of grace for us. We make mistakes. We lie. We do things that are wrong, and we don't do things that are right. And you never change in how much you love us no matter what. Thank you, God.
I hope you'll have a wonderful week. We'll have more VBS lessons coming up. And there's also some fun songs and coloring sheets and activities. And um, so join in the fun with us and, and have some fun with Mystery Island. Take care.